ke motaung wa salele ngwana na wa morapedi wa le peto le kana monala Hi, my name is Boka Ngana Tabin. I am a vocalist, I am a writer, and a host of her own spin series. And I'm a creative. Um, I love music. Um, yeah, there's so much to unpack about me, but mainly throughout as you get to know me that you realize that I love um, the creative space with every fiber of my being. I believe in my creator and I believe that everybody here is created to be absolutely amazing um, and without any fear or doubt of what they should be because if you know who your creator is, if you can, we can marvel on how great the stars are or how amazing uh, the, the ocean is or all these things that we see around us, then you can marvel at yourself like that. So. I think uh, it's so many things I believe in, but mainly I think it's important that if you start with believing with, in yourself, which is then knowing that you're connected to your creator, then that's this. Then it opens doors to other things around triumph. Because for me, I strive on women being triumphant from all the things that they've been through. Like by all means. I would love you to conquer what you've been through and still become the artist that you're meant to fulfill your purpose, which is the very most important thing for me. Look, a lot of artists are like, I don't want to be boxed or whatever, but I'm going to say this for myself. I love jazz. It's, it's why I'm here. I won't lie. That's the reason why I started singing the way I'm singing now. So it will always be my home, but I'm very open to different sounds and exploring other parts of my artistry because the importance is exploring other parts. Um, ex I'm not saying exhaust yourself, but I feel like there's a lot dormant inside of all of us and we can explore other avenues. Uh, but it's, it's, I don't want to say to myself that I want to be everywhere and everywhere. But, you know, I think uh, I'm very open to working or exploring other sounds as my ear obviously must be like, oh, that sounds dope, I would like to hop on that. But yeah, I don't think I'm you know, boxed, but I love jazz. So you probably would find me forever at jazz. I'll be forever a jazz musician. And yeah, but other things you find me on, I'm a piano track, which I am on, you know, <laughs> you find me on the piano, it will come out soon. You know, I'm not overthinking things. If the story is right, if I'm attracted to the beat, if I'm attracted to the aura of the producer, I think the important thing is who are you creating with to inspire the sound. It's not about the sound itself, but it's about, you know, the person that you are working with that makes you feel like, oh, maybe I should try rock. Maybe I should try I'm a piano. You know, or maybe I should try Ispansula or whatever. I'm Ispansula quite or whatever. So I think it's more the synergy of the artists together in the in the space of the studio. So I the first jazz track I heard, but it's actually, okay, the first jazz, jazz track I, I heard was by Abdullah Ibrahim called The Wedding, uh, and it was just after my mom passed away, uh, my mom passed away about 18 years ago, and my sister repeated the song all the time, but it was such a sad song, so I think she was probably very emotional, and I just loved the piano, I loved the horn, and I was like, this is beautiful. You know, um, and from there on, I was captivated. My sister plays had amazing jazz records in the car out here. So many jazz artists, and I was like, I think I want to be this person. And the complexity of it all, as my, in my age, was just like kind of weird. But yeah, I just thought this is a great genre, and I like the stories behind jazz. It's not superficial. It's really in depth to your soul, to your mind. So that's what attracted me to it. Um, I want my listeners to feel empowered when they listen to my music. I want my listeners to feel like they're enough. I want my listeners to fall in love with their continent, which is, you know, but every, if, I know listeners will be all 
over, but I feel like an African child when they listen to her music, I hope they feel proud and say, oh wow, this is amazing. I want to aspire to be like this. And yeah, I really just want my listeners to fall in love with themselves when they do listen to my music and realize that everything that they are here for, if they feel it's very enough, like there's so much to say, but all I can say is that my listeners, when they listen to Poganga Matabe, and they say this is this is what we would aspire to be in the young generation that's coming. You know that they just captured what it means to be a millennial in the 21st century. Contact Record, um, it's um, a record label that's based in Germany, um, and they approached me via thanks thanks to my very good friend. Okay, uh, they like, yo man, you guys sound super dope together. Hey, hey, really love you. And I was just like, oh my god, really? <laughs> and um, I was looking for a home base to release my music. They approached me. It was quite, um, you know, um, I don't know, it just was effortless. Our conversations, and thanks to Fab, you know, he was very amazing with me, gracious. It's nice to have somebody fan building you, even if they're a fan name, you rather than say, oh, we love you. And I feel like that's inspiring. You need that for your record label. Um, so our relationship so far has been absolutely amazing. And I'm very excited to like release music under them. They've treated my good friend in K very well. So, and I've seen his growth over the years with their partnership. And I just genuinely you know, just felt like, why not? You know? And it's also nice to know that it's a guy, it's a, a record label outside the country, so yay!